Hello there, my fellow chroniclers. Welcome back to the Secrets of Grindia. This is the Fable Chronicle speaking here, and we're stuck in a haunted forest. And we got to find our way out. We got to find a way to break the curse that's keeping us trapped in here. Actually, yeah, Eeyore, the magic bag. Said we should go looking for someone who knows this place. And I'm pretty sure this lady knows. You're cursed, honey? Oh my. Living here has taught me a thing or two about curses, but... A curse that keeps you from going through the woods? That's beyond even my brewing skill. There are a bunch of weird people hanging out in the eastern part of the woods, though. Ooh, weird people. They've been here for as long as I can remember. Perhaps someone there can help you. Oh, what's this here? Ooh, summoning. Book 2, Call to Adventure by Pen Wright. Really? Pen Wright? Whoa! Oh, it's been like a week since last played. Okay, that's the controls. Right. Eastern part. So, assuming that everything is... Like, say, the upper part of the screen is north. Then this should be east. A curse that warps you back to the entrance of the woods? That's not a curse, it's a blessing. Take a good look at me, boy. This is what a curse looks like. Just leave me to my misery. Oh, you've been cursed, have you, mate? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, first off, uh... Ah, shit! Guess I better get that bloody purple garland together. Gotta be a way into that. Where do I go exactly? Yeah. Wrong button. Wrong button! Wrong button! Oh, fuck you. What about that graveyard? I remember there being a graveyard, how did I get there? It'll be down this way. There we go, we can hand that into candy now. But first, let's speak to you. Read you of a curse. That I cannot do. There is a curse indeed. But alas, it rests not in your heart. The forest casts this hex upon itself. As of late, only few dare enter the woods, and fewer still battle the creatures who live here. The forest yearns for a culling. It is craving to be farmed. The trees shall give passage to no one until they've been tempered. While I care little for your quest, soothing the forest is a goal we both share, and so I will help. The anger of the forest has empowered some of its monsters. Slay these elite minions and bring parts of them here. You will find the creatures throughout the forest. Do not take them lightly. Okay. Murder time! Oh, there's one. There we go. Let's go turn in this quest to candy. No, you don't. Get him. Ah, yes, that's it. You're a lifesaver. As a reward, I happen to have some rare candy I made the other day. Eat it right away before it gets stale. Thank you. Oh, that's the candy. Right then. Two more left to go. Let's get hunting. Hey, there's one. I really like the music of this area. Nice and spooky. There he is. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Come here. Little bastard. Fuck you. It's like dealing with the wasps all over again. I see you still. Gaia. Woo. Now we return to Bishop. Ah, you found the objects. Let me see. Alas, it would seem they do not hold enough power for me to calm the forest. I had hoped to avoid this, but I must ask you to gather one more token from one last foe. An enraged Halloween rests north of here, 
face it, vanquish it, and bring its symbol here. Okay. Root of evil. Let's go. Alright, north. Oh, there it is. Ah. Yeah, something like you would be the root of evil, wouldn't it? Ah. Yeah, yeah. That was reckless. Right. Potion. I really need to get an ability that lets me heal. There we go. You managed to gather everything. And here I thought you'd become just another ghost for the graveyard. Well done. It is time to lift the curse. Stand back. Yay! The trees rest once more. You may now pass. Grindia's blessing be upon you, child. Thank you. Oh, then onwards. Ah, you little bitches. Go away. No one likes you. This the right way? Hey, the ancient temple. We made it. Ooh, this is nice. To think that something like this is in the middle of a haunted forest. This is a very nice place. Oh, God. Eel, what the hell do you want? The nerve of that geezer, having me haul equipment like some common backpack. Oh well, here goes. Shut up and do your job, Eeyore. I'll turn you into a hat. Good riddance. That thing had no place inside an artifact with my fine taste. You're just grumpy. Well, well, well. Do not go in there, Eeyore. Looks like they left the door to this ancient abandoned temple wide open. Eel, I swear to God. I wonder how many forgotten one of a kind items are hidden in its depths. He he he. Don't you dare. Come on, brat. What's the worst that could happen? A lot of things we could die. Ugh. God's sakes, I guess we're doing this. Yeah. Don't have anything to fucking heal myself with either. The hell's this? That's gonna come to life and attack me. The hell? Key icon. Whoa. This is some snazzy magitech stuff. One of many dungeon rules. Don't fiddle with suspicious machinery. We're here for the loot, not science. Turn that thing off. Come on, let me touch it. Hey! Did I stutter? I said turn it off, not moron. Oops. Um, uh, we did something. Eeyore, this is your fault. Oh. We just... Unlocked one of the locks. Hmm, a huge door with three magical locks. What would warrant such protection but an item of unfathomable value or a creature of unfathomable horror? You know, because those do exist. I knew starting this thing up was a good call. Fuck you! No, you didn't. You were telling me to turn it off. Let's go find a way through that door, kid. God damn annoying piece of burlap. Oh, yeah, and... Oh, wait, what the hell? We're flying? We're flying, Eeyore, and those things are flying too, and they're about to punch us in the face. I guess extreme wealth seldom comes without a fight. Draw your sword, boy. Don't you go telling me what to do. Damn, those things are tough. Them things are beefy. Come on, let's go. Ah, missed. Got him. Woo! Oh, what the hell? Oh, right. Oh, what do I do with these? Okay, I need to activate them somehow. Holy shit! You know what? I should probably, uh... Read that, but I'm not about to get attacked by a bunch of clankers. Date, 2411-2401. God damn, that's like 400 years in the future. We live in dark times. The Master Collector has gone mad. 
Reports speak of entire villages ruined, hundreds dead. This used to be a peaceful research facility, but for how long? I fear the grim days ahead of us. Professor Pine. Well, Pine, um, that's what happens when you build a society based on loot. Oh, I can jump off. Stop. Right. What's this? All these bloody tiles. Yeah, these have got to be some sort of bridge or something or a launch pad. Another journal entry? Date. 28 11 2401. We were approached by the council today. They want our help in fighting Zamla. I am not surprised, but it makes me no less anxious. Tani agrees, the sweet girl. Her pacifist heart aches. But she works tirelessly on the designs of war. Oh no. That's the worst thing. She's worried about her family down below. And not for no reason. Professor Pine. So, actually, I was, I was about to ask, is this science? Or magic? But uh, Arthur C. Clarke once said that sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And he may have had a point. Uh, what's this? Date. 14, 12, 24, 01. We started two experiments today. One goes by the code name Phase Man. The other, Gundam. I'm loving this game more and more. Phase Man is our best bet and the fastest to build. Hopefully it will be enough, but Zamla Mia is not to be underestimated. Professor Pine. Welcome to Combat Training Module, Perfect Guard. A perfect guard is performed when you block an attack with your shield at the last moment. It's a, basically a parry. A perfect guard reduces shield damage by 67% and sometimes have special effects when used against certain attacks. I'm being reminded of this for a reason, aren't I? If you use a skill right before a perfect guard, it will automatically charge to silver level. If you use a basic attack, it will be a guaranteed critical strike. Progress in the training course is denied until you've proven you can handle this technique. Please stand on the plate to begin the test. Your goal is to perfect guard the projectile. Yeah. Again. Again. Got it. That took a while. Right, my reflexes aren't the best, so I don't think I'm going to be relying on perfect guards too much. Hopefully that won't be a problem for me. Oh god, so phase man's gonna be here. Whoa! Whoa! Hello there! Database match. Entry. Sentient container. That's rude. Allegiance. Zamlamia. Just because I'm full of like blood and stuff doesn't make me a sentient container. Action, immediate termination. Though, you know, he's probably talking about Eeyore. Unlock weapons, combat, set protocol, Marissa. Phase Man. This thing's supposed to be Mega Man. Whoa! Oh no. Whoa! Wah! Oh crap! Not again! Whoa! Oh, he's gonna charge. Yep, no. Whoa! I got him! Got him! Got his head! Hey! I can wear his head! <laughs> Whoa, what the hell just happened? Hey! You got the phase shift skill. This allows you to use phase plates to teleport to places where you haven't been before. To activate the ability, stand on a phase plate and press the A button. If you hit an obstacle, you return to the plate of origin. Ah, see, I called it. Knew it. Okay, then. Ooh, another. Okay, no. Molecular phasing. Few contest that our phase shifting technology is the most relevant finest for facility has ever come up with. In short, any object or person that has been treated with a phase imprint can use a phase plate to turn into a data stream of photons. So that's basically how the teleporty thingy works in Star Trek. Upon arrival at a connected plate, the data will be used to reassemble the object to its original form. The application for this are, to say the least, legion. 
The only limiting factor we're currently struggling with is that the plates are far too heavy to be easily transported. If the phase man construct performs to specifications, however, it should be able to phase completely on its own. Well, it did, and it still died. Let's see what this is done. Right, that's the second lock. Woo! And now we gotta do thingy. The other one. Oh, is the other one going to be the Gundam? Oh, please let me fight the Gundam. I want to hit it with my little sword. What the hell is that? Ah! Oi! Who the hell do you think you are? Whoa, ah! oh my God! I just popped its head off. Right then, so this will go there. And of course, there's a fight. Not another Pekko. Oh, God. Do I have to just keep fighting until they're all gone? Is that how I get out of this bit? Got ya! Yes, he called it. Date. 28-12. 2401. He ruined another village today. 45 dead, and Tani's sister was among them. We must stop him, she tells me with tears in her eyes. Neither of us can believe that man was once the greatest collector of all. Professor Pine. Date 1101. 2402. The Phase Man experiment is progressing well. The blueprints for Gundam arrived as well, but the design worries me. There is a limit to how much power a human should possess, and Zamla is proof of that. Let's hope we never have to resort to building such gruesome machinery. I'm calling it now, Eel's the bad guy. Or well, Eel wasn't always a talking bag. Something like that. Date. 2-0-2-24-0-2. Phase Man proved a failure. He is much weaker than we had anticipated. Yeah, he kind of was. He was very squishy. And Zamla grows in strength with every living soul he consumes. Oh, is Zamla the collector and not a place? I thought Zamla was a place. Several council members have already died. Gundam is now our only hope. Wait a second. Wait a second. I may have actually been right. Is Eel the original collector? Is that why he's such a prick? Date 1302-2402. There's only me and Tani remaining on the facility. Most left the day after Phase Man failed. There's no help for us here, they said. We fight on, Tani and I. We, kill, we keep building Gundam, and pray we'll be strong enough. That's probably what's actually behind that door, thinking about it. Date, 9-03-24-02. We received a message from the council today. The world around them is burning, it read, as if we were not already aware. We used to fly through white clouds. Now black smoke rises thick around us. Far from six rocket batteries capable of tracking targets with an error margin of less than 20 centimeters. That's scary. Date 22-04-24-02. There hasn't been word from the council for such a long time. Tiny fears are all dead. Perhaps it's just her and me alone among the clouds. The only ones alive. It wouldn't be so bad, except for Zamla Mia lurking far below in the burning lands. Hey, Key, fuck off, Roadrunner. There we go. Aha, this is it. Oh, it's another mirror puzzle. Oh, are these bounce pads? Give it a whirl. Nope. Yeah, because this hits that. That triggers that. Oh, I ah, almost made it. What if it is this, then this, because that then is all... Ah, oh, fuck sakes. That then is all like lined up. Nope. Ah, do I need to swap it around though? I know it's like the original configuration I had it on, but I want to... Yeah, so that'll bounce me back. That'll be the angle I gotta hit it from then. Date, 1505-2402. Gundam is completed. The only thing missing is a power source. This is what scares me though. A source that powerful would have to be a danger in itself. Combining it with a highly advanced weapon, it gives me the chills. Tani says it is what is needed to take Zamla Mir down. She is right. It has to be done. Would this work? Would this work? Will this work? Yes! Got it! Woo! Got the key. To the Gundam! First off, break this. There we go. Let's get going. Ooh, the sentry. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, why didn't you keep beating it up? Ah, you little git. Ah, I need EP. Right. Whoa! That's a funky little machine. Got it! Woo! Where's this lead to? Oh, back to there. Okay, then. There's a keypad on the door. Unfortunately, you don't know the combination. 
Dungeon Rule 17. Never try to brute force combination locks. Let's leave this thing alone, kid. God damn it, date 1905-2402. Tani is dead. Gundam was strong, too strong. And now she's dead. My sweet Tani. Gone. Forever gone. Professor Pine. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna... We're going to avenge Tani. Let's go. We're here. Let's go. Date. 1702-22 AC. It's been years since I last set my foot here. That time almost seems like a dream to me now. An entire world destroyed. Tani died that day as well, at the hand of our own creation. What's left of the council asked me to seal this artifact along with our horrific inventions. I can sense a sinister power surrounding it, and like Gundam, I hope it shall never leave this cold prison. Now this dark chapter finally comes to an end. Yes, I still miss you, Tane. Oh, is this Gundam? Whoa, what have we just done? During my thousand years of captivity, not once did I doubt my saviour would be the greed of humans. At last, the time is nigh for artifacts to rule mankind. Okay. Oh shit. So you're Gundam, eh? Gundam, the ancient weapon. Fight! Oh. Miss me. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta fist me. Woo! Down you go. Oh, is this just phase two? Woo, I gotta beat the shit out of him. Oh no, I gotta phase up there. And then beat the shit out of him. Oh yeah, of course, because the thing is... Uh... And the head is the weak point. Why was the slime the hardest fucking boss? Like, seriously? Oh, what the hell is that? Ah, oh, more bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have fucking said anything. Never mind. What was that the entry said? The margin for error is 20 centimeters. You must be really rusty if you're missing me by that much, motherfucker. <laughs> Be it, right? <laughs> oh, what the hell's happening? Whoa! Easy there! Whoa! Oh my god! Just stay here, stay here. You can't touch me from here. We got him. We got it. We got it. Curse it all! Amulet. My new one freedom thwarted by a snot nosed child! My vessel was badly chosen to bring this world to its knees. I'll need something more befitting my limitless power. What about me? For exposing the deficiencies of this metal golem, I have a generous proposition for you. Become my slave and carry me through this pathetic world in search for a new vessel, and I shall spare your life. How about you go fuck yourself? Find a sidekick of your own amulet. This one already has a master. Hey, go to hell, you A fellow sentient artifact. Perhaps fortune shines upon me after all. A king will need generals. Lofty ambitions for a mere possession. That string of yours still bears the smell of your owner's neck. Owner? Nonsense! How can a slave own his master? Your long vacation has made you senile, it seems. Oh, well. So, are you admitting you belong to me, or not the other way around? Looks like this place hid some real juicy loot after all, kid. Let's bring this back to the Collector's HQ. I'm expecting great rewards. Do not speak of me as some mere rabby drop. 
Your laughable delusions end here, peasants. Let me show you the true power of an artifact deity. No. Huh? Oh well, enough fun for one day. Let's get back to Evergrind. I hope you haven't forgotten how to use your teleportation device. Just go into the map selection of the menu, select your destination, and press A to summon a teleport. No, I'd rather hoof it back. Oh wait, oh yeah, shit, how do I get out of here? That's what I'm going to literally have to teleport. Yeah, I've got to teleport. Oh, I wanted to hoof it back. Ah, you dick. We're back. All right, uh, weapon shop. Woo, shield. Ah, hello, fellow collector. How excellent. Please stay well and listen to my amazing proposition. We are collecting tech uh, currently in the testing phase of a fantastic technological breakthrough in housing systems. The secrets of constructing buildings that appear larger inside than outside are ancient can be seen all around us. However, this new technology of ours, the Ultra Dimensional House, or U House for short, blows that out the water. It's all a, an adaptation of the physics of bottomless bags, but on a much larger scale. You hear that, Eeyore? You were made redundant. In theory, a house that seems likely regularly sized from the outside could become as big as the entire city inside. Now, with the technology being rather new, there are of course risks, and so we only offer this deal to collectors. Personally, I think the risks are exaggerated. I mean, a dimensional collapse could happen, but it probably wouldn't. Talk to Carpenter if you're interested. Act now and you'll receive a 95% discount in the name of science. Can't believe I managed to do almost all of that that quickly. And only stumbled like three times. So, Kim explained the details, did she? And you're still interested? Yikes, you collectors are a brave bunch. We're idiots. Well, that's all well and good, but building this thing won't come cheap. I expect it will cost 3,000 gold. How about it? God damn it. Have my money. Yikes, rich and crazy, this kid. Seeing how expensive it was, I've thrown in some basic furniture in the deal. Thank you. Would be quite sad to spend that much money and end up with an empty house. No, I mean, I got a painting from an ancient flying temple, but you know. Well, I better get to work. I'm a pretty fast worker if I do say so myself. I expect I'll be finished in the time it takes for you to take a stroll outside the city. Okay then. Ah, bugger. Oh, fuck off, asshole. He's gonna have stolen the amulet. Hasn't your father taught you anything? Commoners should make way for nobility. Hasn't your father told you not to bump into someone in case they stab you with a sword? Peasants these days. Fuck you! Oh, but I must compliment you on one thing. Yeah, I knew he nicked it! This amulet was quite the find. It will fit perfectly in my family's artifact collection. <laughs> He's gonna end up possessed. Whoa, how did he? Unforgivable. Don't let him get away, kid. Okay, let's go beat the shit out of this bully. How did you find me? Please don't tell... Edward, I'm here. He gave me a ring the other day and I lost it. Bella. Wait a minute. You're a collector, aren't you? Not sure I want to. Oh, you piece of shit. Come here. You little pussy. Stop running. Hello there. Stop running. Give me my shit. Oh, this is his place, isn't it? You really won't give up, will you? Let me seize this opportunity to teach you a lesson about the social order. If you accuse me of stealing this amulet, who do you think they'd believe? The word of some mountain kid or that of a noble? The moment I lifted this thing out of your dirty pouch, it was mine in the eyes of the law. Fuck the law, I've got a sword. But then again, I haven't gotten to practice my fencing in quite some time. So let's settle this like your kind would. If you can defeat me, you can have your trinket back. I don't believe a word you fucking say, you spoiled brat. I'll show you how a gentleman fights. You're not a gentleman. On guard. I've been looking forward to this. Whoa, may have underestimated him slightly. He's actually quite good. Ah, no! Damn. Because you're going straight back in. Shut up, Eeyore. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
tanto, Ana. Come on, I just healed. Hey, go back to plowing your grandmother. You took offense to that. Wait, I looked away for one second and you lost. Yes, I did. This twerp's annoying. Whoa. Come on. Pussy. Pussy. No, you don't. No. Sit your ass down, boy. Damn it. First Luke and now this dimwit. Hey, my buddy Luke kicked your ass, did he? Take your worthless trinket. I have no use for it. Sure you don't. Let that be a life lesson, brat. Never steal things from people stronger than you. That was quite the enjoyable diversion, but we have business to attend to. Let's get back to the Collector's HQ and turn this thing in. I'll give the git credit, he was a tough one. Have a word with you. Hey again, my great uncle told me to send you to him if I saw you in town. He's in a bind and he hopes you can be of help. So head on inside the potion shop, I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. What do you want? Ah, you came back. And... Weren't you an old man? Just the right time, the most disastrous accident has... Hold up, who is this kid? Where is that dusty antique who ran the shop before? See, I called it. Weren't, well, yeah, weren't you an old man? I was just about to tell you about it. The most disastrous of accidents. During a terrible fit of hiccups, I decided to make a serum. But the serum didn't stop curing my hiccups. It also reduced me to this embarrassing form you see before you. Well, I don't know if I'd say embarrassing. You're kind of good looking. Also, as much as I'm ashamed to admit it, I am Remedy, the same master alchemist that gave you that bottle before. The only thing that has changed for the worse, I am sad to say, is my appearance. How is that for the worse? Wait, so you accidentally made an elixir of youth and you're upset about it. Most old people would pay through the nose for that stuff. Yeah, they would. Bah, what utter nonsense. Who in their right mind would ever wish to trade a look of proud wisdom for this? I look just like my nephew. Every well-earned wrinkle erased. Gone, stolen from me. Besides, even if there was someone stupid enough to warrant such a potion, it was an accident I don't know how to replicate. Perhaps I put in a cat claw instead of a rat claw. It's an easy mistake to make, and I'm brilliant to say I used to be, and I'm proud to say I used to be as blind as a bat. Right, so what do you need us for? Since the transformation, I've been researching furiously to find a cure for my predicament, and I believe the answer lies in the mysterious fauna of the pumpkin woods. And if I could, could collect some samples from the strange things found there, I'm positive I could create the potion I need. For me to go by myself would be inconceivable, however. I'm a man of the mind, not muscle. My proposition, therefore, is this. In exchange for another potion flask, I wish you to rent your I wish to rent your brawn for a bit. You'll have to fend off any danger as I concentrate on my research. Make your way to the pumpkin woods, I'll meet you at once. I guess we're doing that then. There he is. Let's go. Uh, God. Don't worry, Remedy, anything gets too close to you and I'll stab it in the face. Violently. As opposed to passively. Leave him alone. He's young and stupid. Hey, leave my little snow boy alone. Blue pumpkin. There's a blue pumpkin here? Where? That's a purple pumpkin. Fuck you mean, blue? Got it, Mimi at my shop for your reward. Thank God. Ah, you're back. And just in time to witness my glorious triumph over the shackles of youth. Cheers, my friends, to old age and sweet arthritis. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Even you're shocked. Uh, well, we held up our end of the bargain. Let's take that bottle and get out of here, kid. Oh, no, we just got Remedy killed. Oh, we can still buy from him. No, Remedy. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Remedy, you good, mate? No, he can't talk. You've done it. You little pest of a, a person. Uh, my fellow colleague tried to steal it. 
Ah, uh, you've certainly outdone yourself, clearing a temple on your first assignment. Yeah, that wasn't the job though, aren't you going to tell me off for insubordination? An ancient artifact, you say? That sounds like something for your father to have a look at. At my age, it's tough business walking up these stairs. Could you bring it to him yourself? Wait, what? He's working in the lab, to the right on the top floor. The old man's here? Oh my god, so he actually does... So your character's father does actually work here, that's cool. And he's a scientist. Amazing. Many collectors live through entire careers without finding an artifact such as this. Yeah, he's an obnoxious one. I'm proud of you, both as a father and as a collector. You've got all the talent of your mother. Are you pines? Are you somehow pines? Now, so how long in between, like, the temple touching down has there been until this? How long time has passed? How much time has passed is what I'm trying to say. Credit where credit is due, old man. Don't forget the one pulling the strings. Though I will say the kid did rather well. For a shrimp like him anyway, I will kick you into a lake. Of course. Thank you for looking after my son, old friend. Was he always like this with you? With your mentoring, I'm confident he will reach his full potential. Mentoring, you bring shame to your kin, you treacherous pouch. What kind of artifact would befriend a mortal? Your weakness disgusts me. And yet here we are, Amulet. You're on a trophy stand and I'm not. I hope your dignity gives you some comfort as you rust away in this place, while I'm out there finding more artifacts to betray. <coughs> My lady, please, you cannot go in there without permission. Collector assignments must go through the proper channels. But I've already tried the proper channels and you won't listen to me. If the Guildmaster doesn't want to help us, she can tell it to my sparkling green face. Oh my god, it's a fairy. Sparkling green face, hmm? Come on, let's go see what all this commotion is about. It's a goddamn fairy! Come on, Icy. Knew it. Fight. I understand your frustration, my lady but I would highly advise against disturbing the master. Master Schmaster, I'm not afraid of some silly shut-in. Open that door, I'll open it myself. Naniva. That's just like a few letters off from Navia. From Navi, actually. Rearranger and being a Navi. Oh, no. Why am I saying, oh, no? I actually quite liked Navi. When I played Ocarina of Time. I don't know why everyone hates her so much. I quite liked her. She wasn't nearly as obnoxious. Granted, I played the 3DS version. So I wish she was bad in the original release. As she is in the 3DS version. I don't know. Tell me, please. Don't be rash. You're calmly in the disadvantage here. Let's all calm down and be civil. Stupid stubborn humans. Ugh. Goodbye, giant door. I wish it hadn't come down to this. What a oh, nice! I like her. <laughs> oh dear. It's her, just as I suspected. You know her. This might actually be great news. Come on, sport. Let's go. You know her. <laughs> I have never seen the Guildmaster, but from what I hear, she's not someone you cross. I don't think that Faye knows what she's getting herself into, neither do I. Maybe we should go and make sure she's alright. Yeah. Yo! Jeepers, this place is so creepy! But I can't be Faye. Stick to your guns, Naniva. Hey lady, I've got some business with you. Quit staring out the window, look me in the face. It's going to be the leader of the Black Ferrets. And to think I turned down a book spray salesman just last week. She reeks of evil. Quinton, would you be so kind as to bring me the fly swatter? It's right there on the table, to the far left. That's a sword. No, wait, I'm not a bug, I'm a... 
I know what you are, imbecile. You're a nosy little fairy, and more importantly, a trespasser on our lands. Oh, so you're racist. Tell me, Ladybug, why have you crawled out of your secret little city to come here? Because the artifact in the Temple of Seasons suddenly woke up and it made the Winter Elder go completely bonkers. He took the artifact for himself and now he's stronger than ever, destroying anyone who opposes him. The other Elders would sooner die than ask for outside help, but how could I possibly put pride before the lives of my friends? I like you. Please, Grandmaster, you have to help us. You fairies could go extinct and no one in Evergrind would even notice. Why exactly do I have to help you because it's the right thing to do you bitch because the artifact that's destroying us was made by humans now now that's quite the accusation little one the fey only craft with nature sticks leaves and sometimes stones the artifact is created entirely from rare metals who but humans could have made it i won't send people into danger based upon the conjecture of a moth Guards, put that miscreant in a bottle and send her back to where she belongs. Ivy, wait. Hmm? Isn't it the duty of a collector to find rare and valuable items that ordinary people cannot obtain? The Temple of Seasons must have great amounts of valuable treasure to not... Not to mention the ancient artifact itself. Air brain. How can we stand idly by and let this chance slip past us? It's very appealing to a greed. Whether in the hands of the Fae, or in the rubble of their city, the artifacts will survive. We do not have any high-ranking collectors to spare for this mission. When we do, we'll bring what we can from the ruins. I really think you're the lady that ambushed me at the bridge. Jeez, who is she? The devil? Probably. She looks like it. My wife, Charlotte, often visited the Fae when she was young. She loved it there. Okay, so you're probably not Professor Pine then, old man. To honour her memory, I'd like to take this mission on myself. All the manpower I need is my own son. A cripple and his kid. <laughs> Fine. I hand this problem over to you, whether you fail or succeed. Make sure that annoying fairy stays where she belongs. Thank you, Grandmaster. Okay. Your wife's name is Charlotte. Hey, that means you're... It's a pleasure to actually meet you, Spring Elder Nanivia. Oh, so she's an elder. Okay. I've heard much about you. Yes, that's all very interesting. In fact, how should I put this? Get out of my office. Now! Apologies, Grandmaster. We'll continue this discussion outside. I'd like the sword, though. Can I have the sword? Gimme. Give Gimme Give the sword. Gimme the cake. Alright, what's this about? Woo, that was. That was. That was so scary. Why do you humans have a leader like her? I thought I was a goner for sure. Uh -huh. She can be quite intimidating at times, but as a strong leader, you must be that kind of person, I guess. There's a difference between being a strong leader and being a racist asshole. Who is just rude and dismissive to someone coming to you for help. That is not how you lead. She is just an asshole. We got what we wanted and that's what matters. Time is of the essence. Let's make haste. Dr. Spengler! <laughs> Chief, I'm getting the most miraculous readings in the lab. I think I'm on the cusp of a great breakthrough, and I really need you to take a look. It can't be helped then. I'm not much use in the field with only one arm. Oh yeah, you, you, you're missing an arm. I thought it was hidden behind your back at all times. How did I not notice that? I'm sorry, Naniva. Could you accompany my son to Santa Fe? Of course I would. We Fae believe children inherit their parents' spirits. It'll be like hanging out with Charlotte again. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. I'll be the best sidekick you could ever ask for. You're probably better than Eeyore. Oh, speak of the devil. So, yeah, no. This is absolutely not going to happen. Oh, Drat, he already has a sidekick? Wait, did you just, what did you just call me? Bag, please. She might not be your cup of tea to be around. 
but we need her help. The way to Santa Fe and the artifact is shielded shut by fairy magic. You can probably guess whom here can use that. Teehee, it's me. Alright kid, here's the deal. We go to season A, find the secret entrance, have the butterfly cast her spell, then we leave her. How about no, I prefer her more than you. The faster we do all this, the less likely it is I'll throw myself in a fire. Cheer up, you grouchy pouchy. You and I will make the best sidekick team ever. Just kill me now. Now I need you to carry my shit. He disappeared. Oh well. See you soon, Mr. Husband of Charlotte. We're off to save the day. Please be careful, Spring Elder. I'll keep busy in the lab while I await your return. Okay, kid. I'm a pretty good adventurer myself, so I'll be sure to give you some pointers. Flash that smile and let's go. No, because I've got this grumpy asshole in my pocket. Constantly bringing down the mood. Hey, listen. When you see this window, I'm giving you some fantastic hints. I hope you like them. Oh, please tell me you start every, like, hint as, hey, listen. When you see the hey, listen window, Nanevia is trying to rub off some of her stupidity on you. Just ignore her and maybe she'll shut up and fly into a light or something. No. Hey, you don't have to be so mean. I have feelers too, you know. No, wait, I mean feelings, not feelers. Oh, drats. I like her. I like her. What's the? I didn't hear you over the sound of me ignoring you completely. Let's go, kid. Oh, I hope she sticks around. I really do. She's cool. All right then, everyone. This is the end of the second Secrets of Grindia episode. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you kept up to date with the channel. Share this with your friends to help with the algorithm and all that. And I will see you all next time, my fellow chroniclers.